All right, welcome back to the Northwoods Homestead. I'm Justin. If you don't know me yet, that's who I am. Um, what I want to do in this particular segment, this particular video, is do a little bit more of a one-on-one, -on -one, what I call as a reality check, okay? And in these reality checks, what I want to discuss a little bit more is the reality. You know, what's actually happening behind some of the scenes here. And, you know, in a lot of maybe even our videos, other folks' videos, whatever you're watching out there, you're going to see, okay, this is, this is where we start, this is what we're doing, this is how we line it up, boom, 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 and it's done, and, and we're successful with it, you know. When you're doing these things, you can kind of edit them however you want, and you can show your successes and failures however you want to. But the point of this is to discuss a little bit more of the reality of the situation. And the reason I want to do this is because I've noticed a lot of folks um, will follow suit with, with kind of what you're doing. You know, you, they see what you're doing, they think it's a good idea, and they go, well, I want to do that too okay and that's great you know you want to start a homestead you want to go out and you want to take a chunk of land and build it and make something of it beautiful okay but there's some reality to it that I think a lot of times we neglect to talk about you know and so I kind of wanted to talk about some of that stuff you know and, and in this particular segment the reality of doing a homestead or a build or a land development, whatever you want to call it, depending on wherever you're at, is, well, can you just take a chunk of land and build whatever the hell you want, however the heck you want, and get away with it, you know? Yes and no, okay? So, depending on your area and where you're at, there are going to be different regulations, codes, policies, procedures that... Folks are going to expect you to follow the county, the city, uh, the state, where you're at there, okay? You know, I mean, we're in the United States of America. We're in Minnesota, all right, in, in one of the, the, the largest county here. And they got rules and regulations, you know, you to just take a raw chunk of land and just build on it there, you know, yeah, it'd be cool if it was back in the days where you just did it and nobody cared what you did, Okay. But people care. And even when you've got, like we do, we've got seven acres of beautiful forest out here in the North Woods. Not really a, a lot of what I would call, you know, neighbors all over the place. I mean, they're there, you know. But those neighbors, you know, folks, the county, they watch what's happening. You know, in, in fact, this morning uh, we had a visit by an assessor. And, and not in a negative manner or anything like that. Um, it's just that as soon as you start doing stuff, people wonder what happens. People start talking to other people, you know, especially in some of these smaller areas here, um, where even though there's, there, we're spread out, people still wonder what's going on there. You know, we've talked about how we had a easement issue with the road that was here first. You know, we, we shut that down. We have the, the rights to that easement. Well, people, when they drive by, who once were able to go, oh, what the heck's going on? And they keep calling, they keep wondering, that stuff like that. Well, it, it kicks off a system of folks that want to know what the heck is going on, okay? And as a result of that, you got to play fair. You got to play ball. You got to play by the rules there, okay? So, first and foremost, the chunk of land that you have procured or want to procure, okay, it's just like anywhere else. You've got to get that piece of land somehow, some way, shape, or form, okay? Whether it's, you know, given to you or it comes to you in a will or in our case, you know, we took our proceeds from a sale that we made in another state and we took those proceeds and we bought this land out here with the intention of homesteading there, okay? So it's not like we just came out here into the middle of nowhere, Minnesota, and took a chunk of land and, and, and just, you know, squatted on it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. We, we, we purchased this land. It's ours. Okay. Uh, title deed in full. It is our land. And we have been building on it. Okay. Or we intend to build on it. We haven't gotten real far. We're still working on the foundation, in fact. And you'll see that from our other videos there. Okay. 
but that in and of itself you know comes with its issues there you know like i said we had a road that was already running through here that the county believed they had access to uh that was part of an easement and you've seen in our earlier videos that that's not exactly the case for them so in this situation um you know we're able to handle that but now again they they see that we're here they see that we're doing something and they want to make sure that we're doing it right okay so the next thing i want to talk about permits okay codes all the regulations now i'm not going to cover everything and how you do it you know even here in minnesota uh in the particular county that you're in because you know everybody's got a jurisdiction and depending on the jurisdiction that you're in the township that you're in the county that you're in the state that you're in they're all going to want you to do things a little bit differently there okay and you know luckily uh from some of my background and some of my studies um I'm a bit of a legalist is what I would say. I'm not a lawyer. Please do not take this anything that I say as legal guidance. That is not what this is. Uh, but luckily enough, I, I feel comfortable reading, you know, statutes and codes and, and policies and laws and stuff. And even then I, I get tripped up on them and you really have to look into what you're doing. Okay. Um, because the last thing that you want is to put something up and produce something and to have the law them law dogs come on out here and tell you that's not what's going to happen okay now luckily luckily all the folks around here all the officials that we've spoken with for the most part have been incredibly helpful incredibly patient um you know when you're doing this for yourself and your family you know most of the time they're pretty cool about it uh businesses and stuff like that are, are a little bit different there because uh, you're gonna have people coming and going off of your property and stuff but when you're doing it for yourself and you're doing it for your family you know they they tend to you know cut you a little slack and, and you know they're not bending rules or codes or anything um but they're not going to measure with the same measurement that they would with a business there okay so make sure whatever you're doing whatever your decision is is when you procure the land correctly legally you know whether you are on somebody else's land you know you got their permission to do what you you're gonna do there um, and if it's your own land that you procured it it's legal it's yours okay and then to make sure that you start going through all the codes and the policies and everything correctly and if you are not comfortable with that yourself you're gonna need to ask for help okay uh, whether it's you know some sort of lawyer or counsel or something like that you're gonna want to talk to somebody to ensure that you're doing things proper okay because again the last thing you want to do is get hemmed up in what you're doing and have to start all over again or redo a bunch of stuff okay and one of the things that we're dealing with right now is our 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 waste situation you know you're out here and you're a human being and you're gonna produce waste whatever you want to call it it's waste as a human okay trash the poo okay the urine all that good stuff okay you're gonna have to deal with that all right and so what we use is composting toilets and and in later episodes we'll get into how we're doing that and what the system is but when we applied for our land use permits out here um i was under the impression and when you read the codes that you can use just strictly composting toilets and in this situation apparently you can't even though there are clearly statutes and codes for what to do with the waste from the composter whether you compost it incinerate it um put it in a septic system or dump it or something like that they have all these rules on what to do with it but technically in our county in our state here there are no solely approved compost systems if i'm wrong please i'm in minnesota I, you know get a hold of me i'll tell you what county i'm in let me know that i'm wrong or something like that but generally my understanding is and from communicating with the local county officials there is no composting system that you can use solely for your premises out here okay the bare minimum the bare minimum is a privy now that is a fancy technical pretty term for an outhouse okay you're going to build a wood structure or whatever the hell you want to do it and put it out on your property you have to have so many 
cubic feet gallons of sealed container underneath it or you, you could technically big a, dig a pit out here but if you're anywhere near water and you don't have the right soil and the right rock and the right treatment system and stuff like that you gotta seal it up anyway so in our situation what we'll probably end up doing is we're gonna get this giant like 200 plus gallon bubble and we're gonna put it under the earth and we're gonna put a structure on top of it and whether you yet ever use it or not you have to have it there and in fact that's what they told me you know you man if you don't ever want to use the privy that's gonna be your call you can use composters in addition to it but not solely okay so I'm swatting a few mosquitoes away there in here um, so what we'll end up having to do is build a privy and then we're gonna use our composters and we haven't decided my wife McKinsey and I haven't solely decided if we'll ever use that privy because technically you know there's rules you know once you start using it you can only get so full and then once it's full you gotta like cap it off and you gotta build a new one and everything and you're gonna have all these bubbles of turds underneath your land there okay I would prefer to just stick with the composting system as it is and get rid of the waste a little bit more naturally there and go from there okay and we'll have the privy for legal purposes it'll be legit all right because when you make it legit you don't have to quit all right if you don't then they're gonna come out and again I mean like I said we had the county assessors out this morning super nice guy you know just checking on things making th sure things are going legitimately um, but I mean even like this you know our tent that we have here you know there are areas around the country you can't just put up a tent and then sleep on your land in a tent for forever you know while you're building you have to get certain permission certain approval and everything like that so the point of this video is I encourage you to continue to do the homestead do what you want to do you know get your land get your property however you want to do it get your chunk of life set up there you know get what you want to do to get it all built up there you know but make sure you do it on the wise make sure you do it legitimately there and luckily in this area you know we can have i mean i've talked to neighbors around here that have been tents for you know a couple years before they get everything built up now to me that you know, there's there's a Minnesota winter out here in the North Woods that I can imagine is going to be pretty in a tent the entire time. So we're a little bit of a race against the clock here, as I've said in other videos, where we're trying to get up a solid structure uh, that we can keep heated and everything like that there. All right. Um, and I'm sure I'll have a lot more to talk about uh, on how that goes in what I'm going to call my reality checks. All right. Or our, our, our one on ones here where we talk about how things actually have to be the reality of it there okay so if you're watching these videos and you're watching them you know like i said i always like the comments always like the likes like them at the bottom of the uh, screen down here for me throw me a comment you know if you got a suggestion a thought an idea a curse a concern whatever it is put it out there man i will answer it okay um and we'll get back to you and you know we, we can kind of work on this together there and if you get something going you got a video you got something share it with me uh so that i can like it i can comment on it and see what you're doing out there and we can all help each other out there together uh but in the meantime i want to thank you guys thank everybody for checking us out uh stick with us we got a lot of you know interesting stuff going on here i got my how we do videos uh our updates on what's going on there and yeah so again make sure you're doing things right make sure you're getting it done correctly uh even if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you think folks aren't watching it's a different time and age of the drones and you know i'm not trying to freak anybody out or anything like that but you know there's there's stuff they see what's going on no matter what you got neighbors they talk all right whether they're good people or not which all of our neighbors are fantastic uh all the people we've worked with are fantastic but the reality of it is you know, people watch and they talk uh, and things spread around. And so people come out, officials come out and want to see what you're doing. But luckily, we haven't had any uh, really too many issues other than our easement issue right off the bat there. And we progress. So, again, thank you for watching. If you're watching these things, uh, you know, tell your folks, tell your friends. If you are starting your own homestead, if you're starting your own thing and you're following suit, 
let me know if you're doing some videos i would love to like them i'd love to watch them i got time to do that and we certainly will thanks again we look forward to talking with you soon don't forget to like the video and comment